My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Cult of the Land. In the last episode, we defeated Leshy and unlocked our way to the Pilgrim's Passage. And in this episode, we are going to visit the Pilgrim's Passage. And do things after that. It's just, it's the only quest that's on my dialogue at the moment. I don't know what you want. Sold out. Unlocked follower forms. Okay, so I guess if you had the ability to buy extra ones, you'd be able to do it from here. Pick berries. Absolutely not going to leave without taking all of the available resources, of course. Oh, there's even wood. I think I need... Uh, I think it's coins that I actually need for something back on the farm at the moment. Actually, I could get coins if I just wanted to go and uh, win another game against Ratau. Actually, I may well easily be persuaded to do that. I'll come talk to you in a second, bud. If you want me to talk to you instantaneously, you shouldn't have had such a juicy yard. Think about that. It's like you can't have even wanted these here. They're not forming like a, you know, a decorative purpose. I'm helping, basically. I'm basically weeding your garden. Sure. I help myself to the weeds. But come on. Fair payment for a fair day's work. All right, buddy. Well, look what the tide dragged in. What are you standing there for? You think I'm going to fish for you? I'm not one of your mindless acolytes. Ocean's Bounty, catch a fish. Oh, okay. I may fish. I have flung the fish as far as I can. And, oh, okay. It's Stardew Rules. <laughs> and that's so useless after all. Listen, perhaps we could help one another. I happen to be caught, uh, so I happen to have caught some extremely valuable treasures in my time. Things that a fish like me, and I mean a fisherman like me, know has use for. But to you, well, you look like you like valuable things. Below these waves like some of the hardest to catch beasts that ever lived. And I've been trying for years. If you can snag them, those treasures are yours. Catch me a crab, a lobster, an octopus, and a squid. Take this. A gesture of good faith between two non-fish friends. Tarot card unlocked. Neptune's curse. Send them to sleep with the fishies. Enemies have a chance to drop fish. Live begun a new day, brother. Um, I'm gonna try and get the 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 fish that they have asked for if they are herein available. That doesn't look like that's gonna be any of them. Yeah, just a little, little tadpole. There is that big beastie. There's two of them, in fact. I don't think I can leave without getting at least those. Okay. Why is it always the small... Well, you know what? If we get all the small ones out... Because we're not throwing any of these back, right? We're not, you know, real fishermen. If I take all of the small ones back out and don't throw them back, eventually... There will only be large ones left. Oh! Uh, animal form that followers can take on. They can now become a fish. Okay. Perfect. I'm ready for the struggle of my life. Got him. Swordfish? Uh, I think that was something I was asked to get. Actually, I didn't need to throw that that far. Oh, you can reel it in. Although, unfortunately, it's reeled past the mini fish. I guess I can actually just overfish this area. And in fact, I can even drag my hook back into the people that I would rather be fishing. Beautiful. And 
That's all they wrote. Absolutely nothing you want. Great. Can't do it from here. I do like a little change of uh, the angle. What? Who dares enter our sacred house of light? Uh, apologies, it's just the lighthouse is getting dimmer and dimmer, no matter how hard we worship, and the ships keep sinking on the rocks. No ships means no new pilgrims to walk the sacred pass. If only our leader was here, she would know what to do. We have not seen her since she uh, went for a walk on the pier late one night. We begged her not to go, but we all knew of that this in the darkness, but she would not listen. Now we have no choice but to pray until the lighthouse is lit once more. All hail the mighty light! I assume this is the same character that was in the uh, the shop out front. I can just bear! I got a bear button! No one told me I had a bear button! Oh, I can actually just add fuel? Cool. Gasp! A prayer they have been answered! Thank you, oh bright one, for sending this lamb to save us. Now the pilgrims will return to our shores. For this uh, restoral of the light, we pledge ourselves unto you. We are unworthy servants, mighty lamb. We will pray to you and keep your great light on this shrine. Please, bathe in our adoration. Hey! More players themselves to you, and I get 15 devotion on their behalf as well. Beautiful. Guide us, mighty light! Excuse me. How far away do I have to go before this deloads? Oh! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I think I may have encountered what they call a bug. <laughs> Again, game's not out yet. Chill. Be chill. Uh, so it's expanded this area a little bit. Oh, great leader in light. What do you know about tarot cards? I cannot use them myself, but I find them often when walking by the sea. Even though they're half drowned or buried in sand, they don't warp or tear, isn't that odd? Some say the cards reveal fate. I'd say the cards are $25 each. You interested? Harvest bonus resources, Neptune's boon, nature's boon rather, sorry. All seeing some, 20% more damage drawn the day, and uh, hands of rage, fire a projectile when you swing your cooldown, uh, your weapon, 10 second cooldown. That seems really good. Hands of rage seems incredible. It's it's going to be one of those situations where the, all the shopkeepers who are a pilgrim are the same shopkeeper and they just very quickly run to the new store. I know two of them are on the screen at the same time. They are running back and forth very, very quickly. I cannot tell you why, but they are doing it. I had a lover once who went to the sea and never came back. They used to lay flowers by my door. Hey, flowers suit the young and the beautiful best. They have no place with me. Please, buy them. They bring me only sadness now. A bit more dour than the introduction I'd give you, bud. Uh, you know what? I think we're done. I think we've done excellently and well and good and congrats well done. Uh, I'm going to go to the Lonely Shack and see if there's any devotion here for me. There is. Collect a little snippet of that and go back to the Republical. I know that it's time to give a sermon and there's going to be some devotion here for me as well. Oh my god, it's almost night time. Bunch of people standing around doing nothing because I didn't have all the devotion here. Can't abide that at all. Um, I mean, if they had something to default to, like a lumber yard or a stone mine, maybe. Offering statue. Uh, a statue where followers can leave offerings in your honor. You know what? I don't even know what this is. So I've unlocked it. Now we'll know what it is. Uh, I mean, if we can build it at the odds at least. Faith. No, nope, requires 30. A statue where followers can leave offerings in your honor. We require 11 more to build it. Uh, Skipper, Yeah, I can't build those. Hmm. 
I mean, one thing I haven't done today is go around and tell everyone how beautiful and great and handsome and having fun and smart and hip and cool and being cool and responsible and friendly and ambitious thing. So I'll make my way around and do that. That one's already had a party thrown in their honor. Oh, you may actually level up from this one. No, but what about after a sermon? Anyone else? Oh god, it's almost night time. No, wait. It's not. It's not that. Although people are getting a little poopy. And a little hungry to boot. Um, did I... Did I already praise everyone? I could have sworn I'd miss someone, but it, maybe I just have fewer people than I thought. In fact, I definitely have fewer people than I thought. Um. Oh, wait. Willow! It's Willow I'm wondering about. Willow, where are you? Currently on a mission for me. Best of luck. Let's go deliver the sermon. This will give me the ability to get some new stuff again. I think the only unlock I can make now from this is curses. Yes. Curse of the Horde. Three new curses will appear on your crusades. Be nice to have some more spells. Thank you for your faith, everyone. Ah, didn't level up anyone. Crown? Doctrine that I can do uh, rituals on cooldown for both of them. Yeah, all right. You're all gonna get off scot free this time, but I guess I should probably go out on a mission. Even. Whew. You know what? No, 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 no. We'll cook before we go. That's it. That's the last thing I gotta do. Punch and fish stew causes illness. Absolutely not. Bowl of poop. Well, we'll do that instead. You see. Uh. Car gruel? No. Increase loyalty. I do like increased loyalty. We just need more uh, little meat scraps for more increased loyalty. Also, I am surprised that no one's approached me and asked me to do a quest. Feels a little like that should have happened. Yeah, I did just want to make sure that I quickly... Cleaned up the poop if anyone happened to have one. Everyone goes to bed. And as they go to bed, I go out on the hunt. Anora, open door. Seven! Hey, that's how many I have. Wake up, everyone. It's time to pray. in order to open the door to Enora. A Vampiric Sword 4, a chance to heal the Wilder using the life force of a slain foe. And, ooh, look at that little snail going there. Ah, yes, you can collect the shell, perfect. That's what I was hoping. In fact, I was hoping you'd get morsels out of him. You got a shell too. Uh, Maelstrom four, tentacle strike out in four directions. So is this instant trigger or is this charge? This is instant trigger. All right. How bullyable are these frogs? Extremely bullyable. If they are about to jump, I can just push them back the entire way. Oh my god, all of these frogs are giving are giving a full morsel. I'm gonna make my followers so loyal! No, I took a damage instantly. That's fine. I almost want to take a damage every single time I go into a run immediately, so that I no longer live under the imposition of having to plan all of my movements around possibly never taking any damage whatsoever because what about the physical damage for bonuses? It's so good! I actually think that maybe efficiency might be better measured in terms of time for completion because, you know, there's the metagame still happening outside of this. 
rather than in perfection of completion. Obviously, if you can do both, sure, but I've got to find some way to convince myself that faster and less careful is better right now. Once I can convince myself of that, I can do anything. Give me a... Oh my god! Better cards! Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the attack rate increase by 1.5 times. Weapon attacking. 52% faster seems great to me. Hey! Managed to get some of those to strike an enemy for me. You, a little bit extra on the coins there too. Uh, how many, how many coins can I really get in a standard run? Forty. So we've already picked up twenty-one in this one so far. It's just we've got a couple of things that are all gated by coins at the moment. So the faster I know I can get them, the faster I know I can fulfill all of them. Damage twice in this room already. Good though, clear the rest quite quickly and bounce. Oh, time to meet the new person. Oh, I don't know, did I give him a voice already? Shriveling vile bumper of the red crown, you have found the youngest of us. We are the bishops of the old faith. We protect against heresies such as yours. We are the guardians of the true word, and we will not tolerate such blasphemy. Your sins are many, and that of your followers must suffer. They shall starve. And for that, your followers must suffer. They shall starve. What? What? Where am I, leader? Oh no! Sorothil's hungry. We'll uh, track the quest to kill Hecate in Anora. I'm pretty sure I left enough food for Sorothil to eat their fill. Quite a pumpkin pile from Nora will be built out of pumpkins. That makes sense. It's almost a uh, list of instructions on how to build it. In fact, the name of that one there. Uh, what's that little sigil below the the shop? What is this? What what's what's of this? What is this of shop of? Um, it's either that or a quest though. What is this of shop of? That we lived three summer days. I could fill my heart with such delight. More than 50 common years. Uh, choose commandment stone fragment. A follower form, a blueprint, or ambrosia. Uh, increases curse attack damage by 1.25 times. Drink deep the liquid of the gods. Um, I'm going to take the commandment stone fragment there. Oh, and I also have the ability to purchase ambrosia if I would like. Increases curse attack damage by... I don't know if that's how I want to spend my money right now. If unlocking things like that is how I want to spend my money, or if I want to set up like an infrastructure in my main base. That mushroom up the back is absolutely going to drop mushrooms when I destroy it, right? Bingo. Menticide mushroom spores. Spores. Plant this in a farm plot. Yep, cool. I was going to speculate the possibility of that, but the game instantly clarified. Thank you. I mean, it's not shooting in the direction that would be the most useful for me consistently at all. Let's try down. Nice. Got the dead end first. Jumpsica. Step forward, beast. From the swirling mists of chaos that surround, allow me to regard you only by its 
you carry the weight of ageless centuries upon such diminutive shoulders. And yet, what is this? It seems your statue is deceiving. And never a weapon is not without the hand that wields. To fell enemies, to defend honor, to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron, forged in everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promised liberator. I speak to my weapons often, though I dare not argue. Only a fool bickers with a sharp blade. When reason is extinguished, there is but one recourse. That is why I must keep the forge burning. The fires of my forge I have kept alight since the first dawn. Only the final setting of the sun will see them doused. Forged in eternal flame, sharpened on the stone, wet with blood they seek. You have your followers, I have my weapons. One must find comfort and power where they can. And then it loops. I was really hoping it was going to have a combination. Um... Crusader's Blade increases damage. Well Bounce Blade that deals moderate damage. Uh, flaming Shot as well. Divine Blast. Uh, knocks back enemies whilst also damaging. I want the Divine Blast because I do like having the uh, the kind of immediate. Um, uh, I, I guess I used to call them an O Heck. <laughs> that is a swear word instead of that. Uh, 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 an O Heck button. Right. Things are too close to me. Everything's everything's a bit much. Everything needs to go away. Uh, press the oh heck button. That uh, pushes everything away. From me. Just a good button to panic here. Okay, I'm very glad that I got extra bones out of them. I was going to ask. Victor is starving? Excuse me? I need to go back to base. Victor needs me. Okay, so it seems like with my attack speed at the moment, bullying is very effective. Should double down on doing that. Perfect. And that'll do it. That's the entire map, right? Because this would be the exit. Oh, boss fight! Gusion! I mean, you know, boss fight, it's a follow-up fight. Excuse me, a follow-up. Oh. Absolutely destroyed the egg before it cracks. I played games. So. I can try and pull you around. But you have shotgun blasts, and you can lay eggs. And make sure that I perfectly roll all of the hits to the ground that they're attempting to do here. Because I do have the frames of invincibility. against my health there. Oh well. Gujon, it's time to join us. I could use a monster like you. Gold nugget, lumber, big gift. And we get another commandment piece as well. Beautiful. All right. Let's return to the cult. I think they're ready for a little bit more meddling. Vessel, do you not worship me? Do you not give offerings in hopes of gaining my favor? When you return to your cult, you shall find your new offering chest. There you can provide offerings that I, in my generosity, shall turn to gold so they may strengthen your cult. But I am not easily satisfied. The same gift offered too frequently will cause the price to be lowered. Yet, fear not, over time it shall grow in value once more. 
Give me proper tribute and you shall be rewarded, Batman. It had to be right. Hey! I was wondering what that was ultimately going to do for us, seeing as the other one had a key mechanic hidden behind it. Uh, people are sleeping right now, but I need to immediately wake them up for a second. That will reduce everyone's faith in me quite a bit, I believe. But also... They need one done before the end of the day. Also, uh, I'm gonna pass a new doctrine while you're all here. Welcome, worship. Simple everyday actions or grand everlasting monuments. Ritual unlock. Uh, perform a ritual at your temple that will immediately build all structures on currently. Okay. Uh, perform a ritual at your temple that will temporarily increase devotion generation speed to your shrine to 20% for three days. There we go. Ritual of enlightenment. We will be taking. Can I also cast this immediately? That would be sick. I absolutely can cast that immediately. That would be sick. Ritz well. Actually, you know what? No, go back to sleep, everyone. Rituals have an independent cooldown to nighttime. Oh, stop it. Uh... What do I get them to eat? Stringy meat gruel? I don't have enough berries for the mixed mega. I need berries. Bad. I can feed everyone as soon as I berries. There we go. That's it. And then I go for mega meals. Just a bunch of them. Everyone who's completely starving goes gets their build. My inspiration gets us all back to the very top here. You have a quest for me, apparently, Patricia. Or you did before I cleared out the shrine, I guess? Tabernacle. A uh, place for followers who are not worshipping to pray throughout the day and deposit their devotion. Gets our sound next level up of refinery. Consecrate resources into... Ah, that... Okay. So a metal level of resources from our base resources. Makes sense. Didn't you have a quest for me? I mean, I'll inspire you, but sure. Um, I think a lot of people here are ready to give me... A level up. There we go. Thank you, Mars. You may also have some inspiration for your next level. Also, Sorothil, I believe. But you're going to have to finish eating. Oh. Also, you've got a loyalty reward for us. Uh, who are you? Victor? I really ought to remember, Victor. I made you eat poop twice. Well, I didn't do it. Willow did it, okay? Take it up with Willow. Speaking of. I'm so sorry, dear leader. I failed my mission. I can only hope you'll remember me well. You died? You died! And Patricia has gotten the terrified of death bait as a result of it. Prepare for burial or harvest meal. Prepare for burial. A follower has died. Commiserations on your loss. Corpses are not good for sanitation and law, uh, cause other followers to get sick. You need to bury your follower in a body pit or a grave to prevent them from going rotten. Of course, that is a lot of meat to just go to waste. Well, I mean, then I'll harvest the meat, obviously. People are apparently mad at me for having done that. It's almost like they don't believe in me anymore because of it. My faith is shaken! I can see through your eyes! You're a fraud! I've got to tell the others to center! The followers has begun dissenting against you. Once the faith's cult is too low, it happens. Uh, the traitor is spreading falsehoods about you. Other followers may also be led astray. Re-educate them or we'll put them back in prison. Uh, put them in the prison and uh, bring them back into the loving embrace of the cult. Or just sacrifice them. You made the rules after all. Okay. Uh, well. Hmm. So. I think one thing I'm going to do is re-educate you immediately. You've lost your way. Here's some education. Get well educated. Uh, Neko will leave the cult tomorrow, apparently. 
I see. Neko. Neko, why did you have to make the easiest outcome for me in this situation? I'm just asking. Like, when you back an animal into a corner, do you think they're not going to bite? Uh, also, we got an introduction aid. Introduction aid, uh, Gujon, who will be our new Rawsome. Ah, okay, yeah, hitting S moves it down by one. I figured that was what was happening, so we'll go back here and then just copy paste because that works too. Uh, Rawsome is sickly and a sloth. But welcomed nonetheless. Uh, you must worship that. Uh, also, I'm going to give another sermon. We're in a brand new day. It's a brand new sermon time. Curse of the Occultus, three new curses, or Fervor of the Righteous. Increases the amount of fervor you can hold, allowing you to cast an additional curse. Cool. <clears throat> we'll take that one first. More options is more power, but more power is also more power. On cooldown, but we do have the ability to generate a new doctrine. Ritual time. Ah, Neko. Alas. Wait, actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Neko. Neko, if I if I inspire you, Neko. Actually, you know what? You know what? Can I make you eat the meal that yeah uh, increases your lo uh, loyalty or stops you from dissenting? I'm gonna make that meal and get Neko to eat it. Okay. No dissent. No dissent. No dissent. Did we got him? No! They're still dissenting! Neko! Clearly you have not eaten enough human meat. You still think badly of me. Eat more meat. While you do that, I'm just going to quickly become divinely inspired and get a refinery. Consecration of my resources. No effects. You're still dissenting! I'm gonna cook you one more meal made of people, and if you don't like me after that, nothing will work. Actually, it might be because this is a tutorial mission to teach you about traders. It says re educate or kill the dissenter. Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm gonna absolutely sacrifice you to the heck. I was trying real hard to make this good. Everyone hates me right now. I'm sorry. I just wanted Neko to die or live, but be happy with me. I was trying to save them from this fate. I'm the good guy here. Everyone else is down with having seen a sacrifice, right? That's like a ritual. That's like a sacrament. That's like important. Uh, yeah, this will increase their faith in me even more, but it's okay. They don't like me yet. I think I might get sacrificed by my cult at this point. <laughs> Can they descend enough to murder me? Because it seems like they're on their way. Quest. I knew you could do it. You truly are divine. Thanks, moms. I can read your mind. You're enlightened. I did it. Uh, interacts. Find a meal and eat. 
Didn't I have a big mail for y'all? Didn't I give y'all a big mail already? Boy, they just hate me. <laughs> they really don't like me. I guess that's my fault for feeding them so much people. But look, I didn't, how was I supposed to know they don't like it, okay? No one told me. This where followers can leave offerings in your honor. Um, seems important. Make this also relatively centralized to production. Consecrating resources, more advanced structures use consecrated resources. Consecrated resources are made up from base resources. Uh, unlock and build a refinery to do it. And kill up an order of a refinery and the followers will automatically consecrate the resources. Cool. So, oh, also let's see how the scarecrow plot is. Uh, okay, a little bit of an annoyance to get many farm plots covered by that, but I'll, I'll, we see. Um, in faith, an offering statue seems like a good idea as well. I'm cleaning up the poop! Come on! You have to like me now! I cleaned poop for you! I don't just do that for anyone! I'm really trying here! There we go. Another person for a wee bit of loyalty. We inspired Patricia today. We inspired Sorothil today. I think I've already inspired Victor today as well. Yeah. Have done. I do feel like uh, I'm going to come back to a mutiny. Um, but you know what? Nothing I can do about that right now. Might as well relieve some stress. Go fishing, you know? I use these fish to make the food for those ungrateful sods back at the cult. I can't believe them. It's like they don't want to spend literally all day, every day doing nothing exclusively except for worshipping me. It's almost like that's an imposition. They treat it like I'm asking for so much and all I want is their eternal devotion and soul. Like, come on. <laughs> it's so easy. Can I have the big fish, please? Can I have the big fish, please? My god, I always, oh, no, never mind. I was about to say, I always manage to get the small fish in between all of the big fish, but there we go. Getting a lot of swordfish. Not a lot of anything other than swordfish. Beauty. I'll take what I can get. <gasps> Especially if it's a squid, because I need those. So it looks like the largest ones are swordfish, the middle ones are squids. Never mind. The largest ones just have a range of things they can be. Middle ones have a range of the things they can be. The middle, uh, the lowest ones though, are always those little, little trouty minnows. Those little sardines, those little anchovies. Okay. Getting a couple of the remaining interesting large fish out of this pond. Beauty. I have to have, like, they asked for swordfish, right? I think they asked for at least swordfish or squid. So I have something for them. There you go, squid. Oh, the elusive squid. Wonderful. Here, take this. Caught it maybe 50 years ago. No use of me now. Oh, 
dangerous. That's going to be for uh, creation of a new crown thing. Give item. Ah, I see. Your interest has expired in anything unsquid like. Like YouTube trends over the last six months. You no longer care about the squid. I don't think any of these are going to give me anything reasonable. I mean, all of them are just going to give me the smallest minnow, right? But should I finish it? Just for completion's sake? I mean, I might as well. I still need to give the, ja the, the game a chance to surprise me and not just calcify my understanding of how each of the mechanics work. What if clearing the, uh, the, the whole place is good? What if, what if that's good, huh? Uh, you guys have a shrine to me, don't you? Oh, Lamb of the Light, Mar besiege you once more for your aid. The lighthouse is in disrepair. We need to break blessed crystals that reflect the light out of the sea. Would you, could you, find such a material for us? We don't know where you look, but should you succeed, we will give you an offering in return. I do like offerings. Uh, bring crystals, refined crystals to them, apparently, is what they want. Uh, we've got another one starving back at camp. I'm going to go to the Lonely Shack and see if there's any sneaky sources for me here. Hey, Ritao. I could beat you if I really needed those. Looks like they generate um, devotion at a rate of four per day in the outer fringes. have like a lot of deaths soon. <laughs> I'm just feeling like a lot of people are very, very dead and sad. Mega mixed meal. Maybe get some more beans for those. Little sweet red beans called berries. No, I didn't misspeak. I definitely meant it. Uh, chance of causing illness, chance of causing exhaustion. Oh man, I really don't want them eating most of these. I don't want them all getting ill. This is better than ill than dead, never mind. Sorry about that. Okay, we got 40 more faith because no one's starving anymore. I hope no one's going to descend immediately, though. Put a couple interesting seeds in here for people to fill up. Patricia, you become gravely ill. You need to go to loyalty, first off. <laughs> I mean, that's absolutely important, first off. And secondly, you need to go to bed. Focus a little on your loyalty. A little bit more loyalty here for you too. Hedgehog. Thank you, 3D. Bit of inspiration for Sorothil as well. Some for Rawsome. We're not getting too close to night time. Yeah, okay, we're in a completely new day. Victor, I think it's time for you too. I'll clear up a little bit of poop, and then we can get some sermons going on. Tell them what's going on with the big old G.O.D. character. Um, let's start with a sermon. Can't believe Willow died. I just wanted to do a mission. Wait, hang on. Permanently gain half a heart, hearts of the faithful, as well as unlocking the next tier of equipment. I really feel like my cult is, there's so few members. I need more. 
How do I just get more people? Will work in worship four do it for me? Does one find peace in rest or glory in labor? Ritual unlocks or perform a ritual at your temple, which uh, allows your followers to work through two days and nights without getting tired. Or perform a ritual that allows your uh, at your temple declaring a day of rest. Your followers not work that day and gain 60 faith. Plus 60 faith, I think. Having uh, just the ability to fix my faith issues instantly, I think is a great idea. It's something I really would have wanted to have quite recently. You know, before the whole debacle where everyone stopped believing in me and, uh... I mean, they haven't tried to sacrifice me yet, but I, I bet you they intend to. I could just do that, though. The Holy Day Ritual, I could instantly do that. We can get a bunch of faith. Never mind, I don't have enough bones for it. I'm not bonely enough for it at the moment. Rest up, Patricia. Um... Victor lives in an unupgraded shelter. So let's upgrade that shelter. Farmer station. Farmer station allows followers to water nearby crops. I have one of those. Uh, can't be up there. Tabernacle, I don't have a stone. Decorations. I guess I want stone now? I need to generate the ability to make stone and wood more consistently. Yeah, so I need the stone yard, lumber yard, those kinds of upgrades from the the shrine which we can focus on a wee bit more closely in the next episode. Until then, my name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game is being Cult of the Land. Top left on the screen at the moment is the series playlist. Also linked in the description down below. Link below it on the screen though is YouTube's recommendation for what it thinks you should watch next. Stream fast in the names of the people so trying to see supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays. Add or above the thank you and a special thanks to this episode to Avatoth. Hopefully you all have been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you all next time.